Hey, mo model anarchist here, and uh, I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of psychoanalysis of some people here on YouTube, just some observations. Um, if if I'm mentioning you, it's for two reasons. Number one, I greatly respect you, and I think you've done a lot of great work here on YouTube. And number two, whilst doing this great work. I feel that um, sometimes you've pissed off a lot of people, and I just want to make some commentary about that, and hopefully I won't do the same and piss off people, especially, the, I, I hope especially I don't piss off the people in this video, because I have a great, great amount of respect for everyone mentioned here. Okay, first I'm going to start out with Aaron0883. First off, I want to started by saying love love your videos um, great analysis on relationship psychology very very thoughtful stuff I would definitely say Aaron is one of the smartest people here on YouTube now um, despite making some great videos Aaron sometimes tends to piss people off and let me explain my theory on this uh, let me just clarify first, when I say piss people off, I really don't mean piss off so much as I mean annoy. And I'm definitely not one of these people, but just uh, want to get into the psychology of this. Also want to say by one of the most intelligent people on YouTube, I probably mean one of the most intelligent people, uh, period. Because I, I feel like really the smartest people in this country or on this planet are making anarchist videos on YouTube. But anyway... Um, Aaron, the thing about Aaron is he is his own person, an absolute 100% individual, and he absolutely refuses to conform to any, um, social norms. He ha he does things his own way, and if you don't like it, tough, that's probably why you find him annoying, he, cause he refuses to conform to your preconceived notions on how someone should act, how someone should feel. And uh, I have a great amount of respect for uh, about Aaron for that. Like, for example, Aaron, despite being completely straight, majored in musical theater in college. So Aaron has a complete disregard for uh, how people think he should act, how, how people should, um, you know, do things. So this, I think, sometimes even upsets anarchists a little bit because there's a certain culture with subculture without within every group and uh, Aaron refuses to conform to any of it next up to bat is a user called confederal socialist aka stotals and um wow super intelligent guy I'm a little bit ashamed of myself for um being taking so long to be turned on to him just because you know I used to be a follower of Brain Police. I still love Brain Police. Don't get me wrong, but uh, yeah. Anyway, Ryan's super intelligent guy. Lots of great videos on a variety of subjects. He is definitely the man to turn to for causal belief psychology here on YouTube. Just super intelligent guy, but definitely pisses off a lot of people. Um, problem with Ryan is he tends to make debates very personal. He will bring personal attacks into debate very quickly. Um, the thing about Ryan is he's used to being both the best looking and smartest guy wherever he goes. And he's on here on uh, YouTube with other smart people and he needs to just, you know, tone it down a little bit. Um, so... Ryan definitely is a little bit too quick to resort to personal attacks. I remember one time when he uh, called me a mystic, and wow, he really pushed my buttons there. He, the thing about Ryan is he also knows uh, what buttons to push, and he, he just, I wasn't even really arguing with him, and he calls me a mystic and phew, had to back off, so he really likes to push people's buttons. The, the other thing about Ryan that I've kind of noticed is he still hasn't gotten over his need uh, to kind of conform subconsciously. He still kind of strives for larger group acceptance. And you can see this um, sometimes when he makes, you know, uh, videos targeted at um, 
groups that he used to belong to, like Christians or white nationalists. So he he kind of subconsciously hasn't gotten over this need to be um, accepted by of all sorts of groups of pe people. And I actually sometimes have this very same problem myself, although I've gotten pretty good at um, getting over it much more recently. The other thing about Ryan, he has absolutely beautiful hair. No homo, but really nice hair. Okay, so uh, on to Ryan's arch nemesis, Brain Police 2. And wow. Uh, Brain Police 2 is actually who got me here on YouTube. Um, he got He's what got me to sign up and all that stuff. He was the first uh, YouTube videos, basically, I ever even watched. And the great thing about Alex is he has a gift for uh, making things sound very intellectual, uh, very serious, very professional. Now, why... Why Alex pisses people off is because he considers himself a very good person. Um, he He's very concerned with being a moral and good person. But, uh, I mean, this thing tends to piss people off, especially maybe an anarchist like Ryan, who doesn't even believe in morality. And uh, I, I think there's a new thing you know, a new movement in the anarchist movement against morality. It's kind of like the old thing. And Alex, his morals, he's a moral purist, and his morals are extremely important to him. And that's going to piss people off who don't feel the same way, because uh, sometimes they feel like that that, that he's belittling them um, with his kind of sense of moral superiority. And he's also a huge purist when it comes to, you know, terms and language and that type of thing. Uh, Alex is also makes a big deal of, you know, making friends with all the different um, different types of anarchists, and, which I, I kind of don't understand. Like, I'm, I'm not for, like, exclusive anarcho-capitalism or any of that bullshit, you know, whatever. Whatever people want to do, that's okay with me. But you know what? At the same time, fuck it. You know, fuck them. Uh, anarchism, sorry, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Um... If I don't agree with someone, then fuck them, you know, I'm not going to try to go out of my way to be their friend. I don't give a shit about other anarchists, you know, um, especially like the communist ones. You know, they have the right to, uh, or whatever, to be communist. But but I definitely don't like communism, so fuck it. Uh, I'm, I don't like being told what to do or how to live. Um, but I'm not going to be one of those people that goes, oh, they're not anarchists. That, that's also kind of bullshit. I feel like Alex's, both his need to reach out to different types of anarchists as well as his need to pure, be a language purist as well as his need to be a moral purist stem from a very low um, self-esteem. I feel like he's doing these things in order to try to boost his, uh, not boost his self-esteem, but as a result of his low self-esteem, he kind of feels the need to appeal to this higher, um, this higher ideal of sorts. Now, Alex, you are way too uh, smart to have a low sense of self-esteem. You should have a, a high one, because you are definitely a smart guy. With all this said, I owe Brain Police to a great amount of gratitude uh, I'm really indebted to him basically because um, his videos and such helped expose me to my own cognitive dissonance and I'm, I'm really ashamed to say this but I was kind of simultaneously a Christian and a anarchist for a while back before I came on YouTube and he really helped me expose me to that um, cognitive dissonance which I am so grateful for because becoming an atheist is the best thing in my life because you know basically when you I became an anarchist I also became an atheist but you know I had to fight it and I pretended like I wasn't you know that type of thing um, so before I go over I'm gonna end this part and continue this analysis in part two